Welcome back to the Jet Set. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have managed to do it again. I have brought another most interesting person to you. Joining us today is my good friend, Wilhelm Hedberg. Wilhelm is joining us from Dubai, where he has lived for the past 15 years and is the founder of eCar, the Middle East's first and largest self-drive mobility platform. eCar provides users with on-demand access to a network of thousands of vehicles through its mobile app. Wilhelm is doing great things as an entrepreneur and is just getting started. And he also likes to surf all over the world, just like me. Hey, Willis, welcome to the show. Hey, Nikki, thanks so much for having me. Okay, let's talk about Dubai. How did you first choose to live in Dubai and what's it like living there? So it's been 15 years now for me. Um, I first moved out here with a career job in shipping, uh, which saw me three years later um, quit and start my first job as an entrepreneur. Now I'm on my second uh, business. Mm -hmm. um, and to be honest, I can't see myself ever leaving. I'm, I'm obsessed. I love Dubai. Tell me a little bit what living in Dubai is like. When I was just there, it is so international. It was a really interesting place. But what's it like to actually live there? Well, you can think of it as a melting pot of so many different cultures. Um, so mm -hmm. a dinner out, for example, in Dubai, you could see yourself, let's see, you have five, five friends going out. It's very likely um, that everyone would be from a different country. That, that's just <laughs> the way Dubai is. Uh, so it's, it's super fun. You get exposed to a lot of different people from a lot of different places. And a mm -hmm. lot of people that move here um, come here for purpose. They come here to, to work hard and, and, and make, a, make a good living. I also couldn't believe how much construction was going on in Dubai. It seemed like the city is just growing by the day. Yeah, it seems like every time I turn my head around, there's a new <laughs> building that's popped up. So this has been the trend now ever since I first moved here. Uh, I actually live on the Palm Jumeirah, um, which is the man-made island that looks like a palm. Um, you know, when I, when I first moved here, there was hardly anything. Now there's a, a, a 10 <laughs> restaurants within a stone's throw from my apartment. Okay. Tell me how eCar started. So um, in 2014, uh, my business partner and I, we, we recognized a problem. There's 17,500 cabin crew at Emirates Airlines in Dubai, 8,500 cabin crew at Etihad Airways in Abu Dhabi um, that live in accommodation towers, but they're not in region long enough to where it makes sense for them to buy or own a car. So the idea was to provide car sharing where cars would be parked in the basements of their accommodation towers that they get booked by the minute. It's half the price of a taxi and about a third of the price of an Uber. That's amazing. I didn't really think about all of the cabin crew because Dubai is such a central location and so many people are going through there. So tell me a little bit about how it works. So you download the app. Um, you have different options for products that we offer, but our most popular one would be car share. So mm -hmm. after a registration, which takes about 30 seconds, uh, you can simply walk up to any car within the vicinity of, of your surrounding area click unlock with the app and the keys are inside. You can you take the car and drive it as long as you want and drop it wherever you want in the city. So it's known as a free floating car share system. That sounds so easy to do. Maybe I can even do it. I like it. So tell me a little bit about the direction that eCar is growing. I know that you guys are expanding. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so eCar has actually uh, been expanding quite significantly over the last couple of years. Um, right now, we're, we're uh, north of 3,000 cars. We're estimating to hit about 5,000 by the end of the year, uh, easily uh, uh, over 10,000 by next year. Um, and, and, and really, one of our main focuses uh, is Saudi Arabia. We, we've mm -hmm. been operations in Riyadh for a while. But just imagine, uh, three years ago, women uh, just gained the right to drive cars. Uh, so eCar is a first car solution for women. We actually have a higher percentage of female drivers at eCar than we do, um, sorry, in Saudi Arabia than we do in the UAE even. Uh, so wow. we're very excited about the future. Hey, Vils, we're going to switch gears a little bit because we were talking the other day about entrepreneurship and boards. Tell me a little bit about your mentor and what being a mentor and being involved in mentorship means to you. So I, I was inspired by, and I was very privileged to have a mentor when I first started eCar, um, mm -hmm. the late Bob Farrow, unfortunately, who passed away uh, from cancer last year. But Bob was an exceptionally great mentor, and he inspired me to want to mentor others as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, whenever I speak to budding entrepreneurs, I always highly encourage them to, to go online um, or to reach out to their networks and, and find mentors. And, and my quote is always, you know, the grayer the hair, the better. 
and, and bald, <laughs> uh, bald is the best. Well, Bills, I see great, great things in your future and make sure to come back and check in with us soon. Where can people go for more information about eCart? To learn more, just uh, go on the website, www.ecart.me. And of course, whenever you come into the UAE or Saudi Arabia, feel free to download the app and, and book an eCart. Thanks for joining us, Bills. Thanks so much, Nikki. Great being on the show.